welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Brittany and I am on a mission to hit a thousand subscribers. So make sure you click that button below. So I originally had an entire another video already filmed, but unfortunately there was no end to it because it's regarding my Recoma machine and I'm still waiting to hear back from them. So make sure you guys do subscribe. I personally don't like leaving cliffhangers, so I just decided to pause that video and then bring you guys a new one because I purchased something and I kind of want to show you guys. So if you are interested, then stay tuned. Okay, so I have been obsessed with TikTok for quite some time. Personally, I would rather TikTok over any other social media platforms at this exact moment, except YouTube. I'm obsessed with YouTube on top of it. Um, I personally don't really do many TikToks, but I like watching them. So while I was browsing TikTok and obviously with a lot of my like promoting myself on doing crafting, things like that, I actually ran across a couple different websites that offer what's called clear screen pre-printed images and basically you would purchase them have them sent to you apply them to a t-shirt and then you actually sell them for a profit and I was very very intrigued with it because obviously you guys know I have my Cricut and I do you know easy images like one solid colors but they are offering like multicolors, and since the holidays are coming there's actually quite a few designs that I've been seeing that are super cute and I really kind of wanted to test try them out so I actually ran into Wild and Gorgeous on TikTok and there was a bunch of images I saw on there and they were super adorable and I like put them in my shopping cart and I didn't like purchase them, right? So I was just kind of like, you know, deciding like, do I want to go down this avenue? Do I not? Like pros and cons, blah, blah, blah. And um, they sent me an email basically saying like, hey, you have stuff in your shopping cart and you didn't check out. And I was like, you know what? Screw it. Like I was in the mood. Let's pull the trigger. Let's buy these. And I thought I bought them, but then like I got no email confirmation. I don't recall seeing it on my card. I'm pretty sure it's charged on my card, but I have, I've had so much going on that maybe I just overlooked it by mistake because um, I ended up purchasing them, but under a different email address that I never used. So therefore it's probably why I didn't see the charge because it was like under my PayPal account. Regardless, I got them in the mail and guys, I wish I recorded myself because originally I didn't even know I bought them. So I was like, what is this? So I like opened it up and I wish you could have saw my expression of excitement. So I ended up purchasing two images from this particular site and we are actually going to be heat pressing it on a t-shirt and a sweater. We're going to see how they come out and I want to show you the two images that I picked up. Okay. <laughs> so the first one that I ended up picking up, I ended up getting a total of five of these specific images. They are going to be Christmas themed because we are about to head, well technically when you're seeing this it is November. So um, I figured let's get a jump start on it and I couldn't resist because they were just that cute. It was to the point where I wanted them. So when I'm making them today they are going to be specifically for me but then I will shoot them to you know post and sell and things like that. Anyway, <laughs> the first one, I got five of these where it says, let's get cracking. And guys, like, look how adorable and like color this, it, like, oh, if you know me, which you probably don't because you're not subscribed. So I really hope you do. I am obsessed with nutcrackers. Now I'm not like that type of person that owns like a crap ton of nutcrackers, but like when I see them at the store, I love them. I don't typically buy a lot of them because I'm not one that wants to be like, you know, overwhelmed with nutcrackers, but I love nutcrackers. So I had to purchase this one. Let's get cracking. It is so cute. I love the pink. I just love everything about it. Like I said, detailed. It's just like, ah, I'm so excited. So I cannot wait to apply that one. And then the second one that I ended up getting, because it was just too comical, I guess I ended up buying eight of them. So apparently I really liked them. And I do. I mean, don't get me wrong. It says Santa's favorite hoe. Like, come on now. Come on. Like, look how cute. A freaking adorable. I cannot wait. Cannot wait to wear these. And guys, these are huge. Like, look how big these are. They are 
they're massive. I would not produce something this big with my Cricut. I mean, that's not like 100% true, but it's very rare where I'm gonna produce something welcome um, this big for my Cricut. So I really hope that you guys stay tuned. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna pick out what I currently have as an inventory in my closet and um, hopefully we do a good job. Now this is like the tricky part because now that you got the images and you have to stare at them and you're like, what is it gonna go best on? Do you put it on a sweater? Do you put it on a long sleeve? Do you put it on a you know regular t-shirt? And the thing is, is that I'm in Florida, so it's not very common that we do wear, well, at least I, I don't wear long sleeves and you know sweaters often. I'd rather just wear like a short sleeve and honestly by midday you're already taking off your sweater. So then that's the tricky part. So now I have to build up the inventory for, you know, multiple like options and sizes and colors. And, and that's the part I think that got me the most scared. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply it on what I want it on. And then obviously when I do sell it, I will offer different options, whether that be the sweater, the long sleeve, or just the regular t-shirt. So let me know your suggestions and what you guys have done to better, you know, prep for the inventory on what you're, you know, selling. But let's go ahead, I'm gonna grab those two items and then uh, let's go ahead and start warming up this heat press. All right, so this is kind of what I am thinking at this exact moment with what I have available in my inventory. I already did order more um, this is currently out of stock, but let me show you guys this. If you take this sweater, right, I'm, I did, um, I'm typically a large when it comes to like women's shirts. So I went ahead and I kept my large for my shirt or for my sweater, I should say. And I'm going to be applying Santa's favorite hoe. Like, look how stinking cute this is, guys. Like this is so adorable. Like I think this is a sand sweater. It's the Gildan. I think it's 100% cotton. N nope, it is 50% cotton, 50% polyester. And this is the image that I'm gonna stick on here. So heat press is still warming up. And then for my next option, I have these two. They're both purple. These are my Cambia Bell, which are my absolute favorite brand. I think these are 100% cotton though, both of them. Actually, this shirt is backwards, but it's okay. We're not applying anything yet. And then here is this next to it. So I really wish you guys were here to kind of help me decide what I'm wanting to do. Like you have this, which I think looks really cute. And then also here. So... This is not my size, this is too small, that's a small. I need to get it, see if I have this. Let me see if I have this one, but in a medium, because these are unisex style, so typically with the unisex, I can go down one. So let's see if I have this one in a medium. All right, thank goodness. I did have it in a medium, I am super excited about that. I honestly was having a hard time finding it. But this, I'm gonna stick on a t-shirt. So now I kind of have both option between the shirt and the sweater. So let's go ahead and get them pressed and let's kind of see how the uh, image comes out. All right, so you do actually get this card when you place your order. And since this is a clear film screen print, it does say to put the temperature between 305 and 325 with the heavy press for 10 seconds, peel hot. So let me go ahead, I gotta increase it. I know mine sits at about 300 right now. I'm gonna go about 315 and let's see how that does. All right, so that one is set to 315, and that is set for 10 seconds. So the heat press that I currently have right now, my husband actually purchased this for me on Amazon. I've had it for a few years, really like it, no complaints at all. I am going to potentially look at getting a bigger one. I wanna look at like a 15 by 15, or I've even seen like a 16 by 15. I found some on Amazon. I am kind of debating what I really want to do because the price ranges are so like high low and I don't really know how much I want to invest into the heat press quite yet just because I was really hoping that the embroidery would really take off. I don't toot my own horn, toot toot. But um, I'm, I'm, I'm really liking this whole screen print option. So 
I don't really know. I'm sure if I do buy one, you guys will have to subscribe. I'll probably do an unboxing, yada, yada, yada. But um, let's go ahead. It is finally warmed up. So let's get to the show on where this video is supposed to actually go. All right, so I do know when it comes to heat pressing, a lot of people will take their shirts and they will cut them in half. I've actually kind of started doing this a little bit more lately just because I feel more comfortable with it. So let's go ahead. We're going to split this in half. Yes, see, I don't like doing it because I feel like I get too particular with it and then I start like getting in my head. So hold on. So I've gone ahead and I heat pressed it. Now we have our center line. I actually picked these up on Amazon. I do recommend them. I actually really like them. Basically, this is for infants. This is for youth. We have adults and toddlers. And this is basically going to help find the center. I accidentally melted this. So I just literally did it. But I'm going to line this up to the center of the line that was just created. And then, of course, I'm going to just kind of go back and forth, making sure that everything lines up. The great thing is, is it automatically puts it four inches from the neckline, which I used to do three inches, but the four inches works just as good. I'm going to go ahead. I will apply the image. Actually, let me just do this. By doing this, you are creating, again, center. So I'm just going to align center with center. And then put this down. Now, one thing to be aware of is this is not sticky like Cricut would typically be. So you do have to use like an adhesive tape. This is just the Cricut one. I keep seeing everybody else have one like on a dispenser. I really need to look further into that one because this is very time consuming. All right, I'm kind of nervous because this image is way bigger than my heat press, but it's okay. If we have to do it in a few sections, we definitely will. See how it hangs over, but it is what it is. Let's go ahead, heat press this down. All right, if you notice what I did, if you guys notice the stupid thing that I did, I forgot to put down my paper, but let's hope I didn't ruin anything. So this is extremely hot. This isn't as hot, so let's see. Wow, look, it's so good. Wow, let's see. Yeah, you can definitely stretch it. There's no issues with that at all. Like, look, wow. Look at the detail, guys. Do you see the detail in that? Looks so good. I'm very impressed.
Very impressed. Love this. All right. As you can see, I've already went ahead. I created my center line. I'm taking my measurement again. Let's go ahead. Good. Let's go ahead and put Mr. Claus on it. Again, same situation. We're going to go ahead and take this one down. This time, let's put our protector over it. All right, so here it is. Let's go ahead and get that peeled off quickly. Oh God, it is like, butter like do you see how boom look how quick that came off that came off so clean here it is <gasps> yes i am Ooh, look at that the detail again same concept with the detail um you guys can definitely see I am pulling it. Obviously, it's a sweater, so the material's not going as much, but dang. All right, so I know that this was an extremely short video, um, but guys, look, I put it on. It's so cute. Like, look how big that image is. It is huge, huge. I love it. This is, like I said, um, a large, the Gildan, 50% cotton, 50% polyester. And then as you recall, we went ahead and did a 100% cotton t-shirt and it came out just as good. So apparently you can use any type of style t-shirt you want. Um, I know with sublimation, I think they have, they say you have to stick towards more polyester. So it does kind of limit your option, which is really why I like the more clear film option. And not only that, it's actually doing stuff that I personally don't have the capability of doing. As of yet, I mean, granted, yes, I can buy the machine. I can do it myself, depending on how things go. Um, it's definitely something that you would love to add to your business one day and, you know, scale it up. Heat press, 100% love this. About 80% sure I need to upgrade and, and get this replaced because it is way too small for these image sizes, as you guys can tell. But overall, I'm extremely happy with the wild and gorgeous outcomes. Do stick tuned because I did actually purchase from another vendor that I found on TikTok. And I bought a lot more options with them. And um, we'll definitely try them out and see how we like it. So I do appreciate you guys for watching. If you are interested in any of these items that I'm wearing, I will have them up on my Etsy shop after November, which of course this video will be out by then. And I really appreciate you for watching. So make sure you do subscribe, click the like button, leave any comments below. I do appreciate it. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye everyone.